What's going on everyone? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run your C or C++ code right within your Visual Studio code. I've already done a few videos in the past about this topic, but this is the new and updated version regarding this subject. So to get started, you need to come to this website called mysyst2.org. Once you're on this page, you can see that we have this installation section and you have this download the installer option. Click on this and it will start downloading the exe file for you. I've already downloaded it so I'm just going to cancel it and then I'm going to open this exe file and as you can see I'll be greeted by this installer window and here we don't need to do much we just need to click on install and this part is very important this is the folder where you will be installing this software so make sure that you remember this directory and this or this folder wherever you want to install it by default it will be stored in c drive slash mysys64 you can change that to your likings if you want to but i will leave it as it is then i'll click on next next and you can see it now starts installing the mysys2 you can click on this show details and it will tell you everything that it is doing right now if you want to this is going to take a while so be patient and let it finish once it's done installing you can see this message 100 percent you can click on next and you can click on finish and you will see this black window popping up on your screen uh, you need to keep it open don't close it because we need to run a command in this terminal so this is the command pacman dash capital s dash dash needed base dash devil min gw dash w64 dash ucrt dash x86 underscore 64 dash tool chain so copy this command from the description box i have already uh, left it there you can go ahead and copy from there and after that hit enter and you'll see something like this where you can select things or deselect things but we are going to leave it as default so click enter and here type in y and hit enter and now some things will start to download and install on your computer so this is the most time consuming part this might take two or three minutes based on your internet speed so be patient here as well after it's done you'll see something like this and if it failed for some reason try to run the command again and it should work for you now we need to do second most important thing here most people do this part incorrectly so make sure you do this carefully and you watch the video very carefully so now let's go to the c drive this is where we installed our mysys2 if you remember this will this was installed in this folder mysys64 open it up and then you will see this folder ucrt64 and then the bin directory now from the bin directory click on this bar right here and copy this whole path Control c to copy it or you can right click and click on copy close this folder now go to your search bar and search for edit environ and you will see something like this edit environment variables for your account click on it and now here you will see this path double click on it and then click on new and paste the path that we just copied here so it should look something like this and click on ok click on ok now in order to check if we did everything right press your window button and r button together and type in cmd here and click on ok and here type in gcc dash dash version hit enter now if you see something like this it means that you have done everything correctly gcc is now installed on your computer now we can close this and open the visual studio code from here you can see that i have this file main.c we will try to run this but before that we need to go to this extensions tab and search for c and you'll see this first extension from microsoft click on it and click on install and close this now you can see that we have this small play button appear here and it has this drop down button as well click on it click on run c slash c plus plus file And you can see something is happening here and as you can see we got subscribe printed out in our console so this was actually the code i was trying to print this subscribe so now that c program is telling you to subscribe to my channel you should not ignore that message and hit that subscribe button and the like button and if you have any questions you can comment down below i'll see you in the next one till then peace out